Today's tech tip has to do with the most critical fasteners in an engine. We've covered them before, but not very in depth. These are the fasteners that see the most stress during engine operation. Say hello to our little friends, the rod bolts. Like all bolts, they act like a spring. When torqued, the fastener stretches slightly, and that's what produces the clamp load necessary to hold it in place. When the fastener is loosened, it will return to its original free length as long as it's not a torque to yield fastener. In high performance engine builds, aftermarket fasteners are used because of their additional tensile strength due to them being manufactured of superior materials. Depending on the material, the manufacturer will call for a specific torque value and fastener stretch with a specific lube to achieve a proper clamp load. Don't rely on just the torque spec. Torque wrenches will vary in accuracy. The correct way to measure stretch is with a rod bolt stretch gauge like this one. Quality aftermarket fasteners will have indents on the top and bottom of the bolt for the gauge to register in. Now we're going to show you why it's important to have and utilize a rod bolt stretch gauge. Now this rod is equipped with ARP 2000 rod bolts. The recommended torque spec is 75 pound feet using ARP ultra torque lube. Now the actual range of rod bolt stretch they need to be in is between 64 and 68 10 thousandths. With no load on the bolt, the first step is to put the gauge on it and zero it out. Now remove the gauge and torque the fastener to 75 pound feet. Now the gauge is reinstalled and the reading shows we have 45 10 thousandths, which is not inside the specified stretch range. So what does this mean? Well, the fastener will not come loose. It just doesn't have the proper amount of stretch to achieve maximum clamping load. Now to get that, we're gonna actually have to torque the fastener at a higher value than recommended to get into that range. And the best way to do that is to actually loosen the fastener and then increase our torque wrench in five pound increments until we get in that range. With an increase of five to 80 pound feet, the stretch increased to 55 10 thousandths, so we have to keep going. All said and done, we had to set our torque wrench to 95 pound feet to be within the 64 to 68 10 thousandths range. Now you know what it takes to properly set up your rod bolts, but that doesn't necessarily mean that your torque wrench is inaccurate. So to verify its accuracy, we'll set it back on 75 pound feet and give it a click on our tester. Manufacturers keep the torque specs on the low side to keep you out of trouble. 